Niggas say they jamming lines, they ain't jamming shit. What? No. Oh shit, go tell daddy to get you the car. Right here on 1039 WDKX. The WDKX weather is brought to you by Parisi and Bellavia. Car act. You know, sometimes I don't be wanting to wear a ponytail. Like, I'll like take a shower and then automatically think like, oh, okay, I'm gonna put my hair in a ponytail. But then when I do it, I be like, oh, I don't want it in a ponytail. So. But look at the locks, you guys. It's transform, transforming. My transformation is crazy. What? Oh, yeah, I don't be wanting to wear a ponytail sometimes. Warm out here, y'all. It is warm. Hey, Sham Fam. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the vlog. All right, so <laughs> listen. When life throws you lemons, you make lemonade. Okay. When life throws you lemons, your ass need to make some good cold lemonade. Uh, um, my lock journey really means a lot to me. Um, a lot of people lock their hair for their personal reasons, right? Everyone that has their hair locked, lock their hair for personal reasons. And um, I'm going to get a little personal with you guys. I'm going to get a little personal. But before I get personal, like, comments, share, turn your bell on so that you don't miss no videos. Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe, people. Alright. So. My lock journey started literally six months ago. I didn't even look at the date. But yesterday, we celebrated six months. So, June... June 24th, we celebrated six months of my hair being locked. Six months. Your girl, that's your first lock. Your girl kept her hair locked for six months. I have been consistent for six months. I have not touched my hair, combed it, gelled it, per uh, 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 not permed it. Um, turn this off. I have not edge control. 
controlled it. Oh, we get some longer nails too. It's the summertime. Yeah, the nails, the nails need to go a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. But I'm proud of myself. And my lock journey really means so much to me because I locked it due to me going through so many life challenges. Um, life really was lifing for me. Let me show you guys my view. period of having Gabriella getting sick my hair had took so much stress my hair had been through so much um have you ever heard of the of the saying like when you become pregnant and then you have your baby you're not supposed to wash your hair after you have your baby because your hair and your body is shedding still and so I felt like I was going through that for a whole year with my hair look at the look at the fucking drive through line look at this shit because people don't want to get out this is the line so we're just gonna just gonna go around go in. because no one wants to go in and i'm gonna take my sexy ass in okay Yeah, so I did, I felt like my whole year, like the whole year, going through the process of healing after having a baby, going through the process of healing after having a hysterectomy, going through the process of healing after having the ureter um, transplant and the ureter stent. I literally felt like my whole body was going through so much. And I felt like my hair took so much and it needed a break. It needed to, um, I don't know what's the word, but it needed to just be free. And it's free, you guys. Six months. I'm loving it. How Y'all think y'all like it? Let me know. I mean, Instagram and everyone is loving it. But let me know what y'all think. Black Sham Fam, what you think? We like the locks. We don't like the locks. If you like the locks, comment. Let me know. But I'm very happy on the decision to lock my hair. I think it has um, strength. I have um, evolved. I have recognized that my natural beauty is everything. My natural beauty is what... Um, what makes me um, I've always um, had a lot of people don't know this but I, I've had you know some confident issues okay I mean I know I talk about my teeth a lot but I have other confident issues too um, so it's just it's a it's a new look for me I'm loving it I'm loving um, the way I act the way I move the way I handle business with my locks um, I treat my locks like a tree literally I water my locks I oil my locks um, I talk to my locks. Yes, we're locking locks on 2024. <laughs> Let's get a coffee. Got my uh, workout shorts on. But I used the TikTok shorts, but I got them way before TikTok came out. <laughs> Good, y'all. 
Like, this is what I've missed about Rochester. Now that I'm back, I'm in love. <laughs> so when I move back to Virginia, I'm gonna miss it again. <laughs> So we're gonna get a um, all right so I just want to say <laughs> thank you so much for the love on my first video that I dropped I love y'all Y'all are dope. I didn't think I was gonna get that. Oh. Mm. This guy just walked by and he was like, oh, she fine. <laughs> he double take. Double take. Anyway, I didn't think I was gonna get that much um love. I don't know why I always say that, but because people love me, but people don't love me. You know what I mean? But I really didn't think I was going to get that much love. And I appreciate y'all for the comments, okay? Even the DMs. Even the long messages that you guys sent me. Like, three of y'all sent me long... Oh, Y'all heard that? <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, you guys are very supportive. I appreciate you guys. Um, like I said, I always, I always be like, dang, I don't know if I'm gonna get love when I, you know, drop a video because I don't be knowing exactly. Like as long as I've been vlogging, I still be like unsure on um, what y'all like to see. You know what I'm saying? I know that you guys enjoy my day in the life vlogs, and so that's all I know to do. <laughs> That's all I know to do is kind of show you my real life. So this is my real life. You know, you don't see everything, but you know, I will be like keeping giving you guys updates. All right. So um, I kind of talked about my locks, um, and yeah, how this is like a new thing for me. Six months in. Shout out to the lock baddies. Tap in if you have your hair locked. Tap in if you're a lock baddie. Um, I am loving the lock journey. Um, I feel like this is kind of like an update. So, um, let's get into... Oh, let's get into, like, my one-on-ones. So, if you're someone that has confident issues that deal with lack of motivation, I have my own, uh, you know, I have my own company. Um, I've changed the name of my company twice. This is the second time I've changed it. I'm not changing it anymore. It's called Pretty, Pretty, Biz Pretty Business pretty business marketing agency llc um pretty business marketing agency llc um, is providing you um information and how to's on marketing branding your brand um so if you are that like i said if you're that someone who's just like listen i'm struggling i have a business okay i'm not getting views with my business by me uploading i'm not getting content done i have um a hard time with um getting clicks i have a hard time with um, making my brand look like a brand um then that's that that's what you contact me for um i have built so many other people's brands for them i have given them the ideas i have helped them navigate through their own um, websites through their own company i have helped them with um creating content and pushing content out um giving them ideas and motivation and um inspiration so i've been doing that for about four and a half years so both um both creating content and understanding how to create content and market content, I am really good at. Um, like I said, I think I said it in a previous video, I made a lot of money with just my own branding ideas. Um, a lot of people want to do what I do. A lot of people really want to get views, really want to get high impressions. Um, and I'm just here to help you. 
Um, don't I had a lot of I had a lot of clients that hated on my success. And when I tell you they were like clients of mine, they were clients of mine and they hated on my success and I had to drop them or I had to stop talking to them or I had to no longer help them. Um, and it's just crazy because it's just like, how are you going to do that to someone that worked so hard and that's so underrated? Um, I am very underrated in this game. Very underrated. A lot of people, it's beeping because I don't have my seatbelt on. I'm not driving safe, y'all. Um, but a lot of people do. Oh, fuck doing a lot of people don't understand still to this day on how to um navigate through their brand and um make that digital cash i've been making a digital cash for a long time now so i'm not new to this i'm true to this and um let me just tell let me just put you on on a little secret clicks matter views matter Clicks and views, they matter, okay? You think, if you think you're going to make money right here on this internet without having views and clicks, you are sadly mistaken. Sadly mistaken. I know that by first-hand experience. I used to be the girl to be like, oh my God, let me show you how to do this and don't have no views. Like, stop listening to those people. I mean, I was still learning and I'm not afraid to say that I was still learning and now that I get like over 40,000 impressions a day um, I understand now that's why I work with these big brands that now I get it now I get the, 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 the when they say listen don't worry about the outside noise just worry about what you got going on just worry about what your craft just worry about you making the content pushing the content out um, because I was so focused on helping my clients that I really wasn't creating my own content. I got so focused on creating other people's content or helping other people create their content. I lost focus on creating my content. So when I got back to my content bag, when I got back to getting back outside, creating content, um, navigating through my Instagram, figuring out what is going to go viral, what is going to get a lot of views. Um, what people want to see, what people don't, my, my target audience. I had to like rebrand myself and figure out what my tar who my target audience was. Because understand, I'm the Black Sham Show. A lot of people are so into me because I came out with the Black Sham Show on YouTube. So people want to see mommy content. <laughs> They're going to want to see mommy content. And I got tired of putting out mommy content. I, I got I got so tired I got I got I got like overwhelmed um with just you know putting out mommy just mommy content just mommy 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 content so I switched it up I took a break from YouTube I took a break from Instagram I re I revisited my ideas and I went back to the drawing board and I'm back and so if you need pretty business to help you, let me help you. I'm help. Let me help you, sis. Let me help you. Okay. I'm cheap. It's $50 to get unstuck. $50.